Next is my homie, uh, Lawrence McLaughlin. McLaughlin. How's everybody doing tonight? That's good, that's good. Now, everybody got parents, right? Especially, I'm talking to my teenagers, my youths. Now, everybody got parents, right? Everybody love their parents. Just that, just that. I don't know if it's just me, but I know it's probably some of y'all, but just that parents and their expectations. The expectations, like, to me, they just be too much, like, they ask me questions, but then they don't want me to talk back. Like, let me give an example. So, I walk inside my house. Hey, son, how was your day at school? Well, mom, to be honest, uh-uh, don't answer my, don't talk back. Answer my question, what happened today at school? Well, I'm trying to tell you, but you're not gonna let me talk back. No, answer my question, what happened today at school? Well, I'm trying to answer your question, but you're not, uh-uh, shh. But I'm trying to, shh. Come on, let me, shh. Now answer my question, what happened today at school? I said, answer my question, what happened today at school? Oh, oh so you're not gonna talk? Go to your room. <laughs> so I go to my room and then I'm laying down. Well, this is another day I was sick. I go to my room and I'm laying down. And then my parents, they give me a book, like a novel, like 400 pages. Tell me to read the whole novel in an hour and 30 minutes. I tell them, how am I gonna read the, how am I gonna read the whole novel? You know they got books for this novel. I mean, you know they got movies for this novel. Well, you wanna watch a movie? You gonna watch a movie on mute, all subtitles. You gonna read every single word, every single letter inside that. And then, man, I'm 13, so I'm a kid. I wanna go play. And my parents, they won't let me go play. It's like, I don't even, see, I don't even know what a monkey set look like anymore. Like, it's like, I'm, I'm 35 years old to my parents inside of a 13 year old body. Now, Thanksgiving's around the corner, everybody. Everybody know that. You know, everybody loves Thanksgiving. You know, getting your grill bone, talk to your family. So there's two reasons why I do not like Thanksgiving. Well, one reason, family. Let me get it, let me explain. Listen, so we sitting at this big table, you know? I'm right here, like, towards the edge, and then my auntie's over there. Everybody else is gone. So I'm right here, just eating my food. I ask my auntie. Could you pass me some salt, please? She over here talking like, girl, you hear what happened on Empire last night? My God, I can't believe Lucius did that. Auntie, could you pass me some peas? I mean, some salt. Girl, oh my God, I can't believe Lucius really did that. Auntie, could you pass me some salt? Boy, don't you see there's grown folks here talking? Okay, then go upstairs, go to your room, eat your food there. Get, get the salt, get the salt. Now, girl, now, Lucius, Empire. So, I, I go... <laughs> I go to my room, you know, and then next thing you know, um, you know, everybody done eating, you know, we are eating our food, you know, I want to watch me some Law and Order, because, you know, I'm just got done eating my food. Then, my uncle walk up to me. Now, listen, this is me the whole time. The, the, he, he walk up to me whispering, hey, nephew, how, how you doing? But, nephew, you, you, you okay? I, I'm good, I'm good. How about you, Uncle? Uncle, uh, I mean, nephew, I don't, I don't think you're okay. You got your hand over your nose. Um, um, it's like, it's nothing really, Uncle, you know? It's like, but then take, take your hand off, off your nose. I'm like, you, you sure? You, you sure you won't do it? He'd be like, yes, yeah, yeah, I'm really sure, nephew, I'm sure. Now, so I take my hand off my nose. Mm, I got it, okay. Now, I got a pack of mints inside my pocket. Now. I took my hand off my nose, through the mints inside his mouth. His breath was stinking. It smelled like dressing and turkey and mashed potatoes. No gravy, no salt. Damn, man, it's nasty. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> 